Due to a slight clerical error, and by clerical I mean my terrible maths and not realising I was already safe and we were going into the European places playoff group without me realising, we finished the normal league terribly. Fell apart. We, we became what I thought we were. <laughs> but the European places playoff group has started as a catchy name. And suddenly we're good again. Like, we, like we're really good. And I think, I think, if I read the rules correctly... If you win the group, you get to Europe. I can't fully commit to that. I think so. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends, and welcome. Welcome to the exciting rules page. So... As I'm reading it, correct me if I'm wrong, and I won't remember. Uh, so one team qualifies Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League, right? Depending on the win of the Crocky Cup. Places are allocated by first, second, third and fourth in the League Championship group. And then the top team from the our group, the European Places Playoff. So, yeah, imagine finish, after the start, the start of this save, getting this job and then getting into Europe. Because... Yes, we're seven points adrift, but we, we play plenty of games. And we've started off superbly well. As I said, we ended badly uh, and it wasn't looking good. We were creating no chances. Uh, then Siggy Lim got a minor injury. We had another small injury. But then uh, Restalu, who we just lost 2-1 one, one against, being terrible, just beat him 6-2. Little, you know, cheeky little 6-2. Why not? Uh, Riviera and Nanti both getting themselves a brace. And then the youngster, Sembolo Tueba. Getting, he's actually had a couple of games because of injuries. And he's done all right. And Aqua got himself his first goal. We beat Bev Bevron. 2-0 Riviera and Moulemans with a rare goal. And then we beat uh, Mechelen. 2-0 Riviera and Matt with his first goal. So, all going quite well. I like how... I'm a big fan of... I'm being ironic here by saying big fan. I like the fact in an entire month, four games. Three games in an entire month. Two games in an entire month. Bosh, game every three days. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it's like, could you not separate this out a little bit? My team aren't used to it. We used to have it rests. But anyway, we're doing well and there's a chance. So today we're playing the... Uh, the team we have to somehow manage to beat. We have obviously have to beat them twice to really stand a chance. It's an outside chance, but the fact there's an outside chance of Europe is ridiculous. Um, we're playing all right. Uh, Kwaku had a bit of a drop off, but he's ramping up. He's ramping up towards the end of the season. Uh, the two centre backs have done fine. We had a bad spell, and their ratings were all. They were play both playing awful. To be fair, Stutter had a minor injury. Like, I never, I knew that the centre-backs were worse than what we had, but I had to do it, and I was hopeful that they're just, like, good enough to get us there. I don't want Maggie to be our first-choice centre-back. He's literally played every game since he come in, but going forward, that's fine. Uh, Lovick's had a wobble and then picked up a little bit, although I still want to see more assists from him. Moulemans is actually playing really well at the moment. Kind of annoying he's gone, but Dumont is almost back. We've had youth intake day, and th there was never a takeover. It just it went away without any sort of notification of it. And then apparently the chairman now wants to step down, but that's just going to be another board member. Um, unfortunately, Nadji is out with a minor injury, so Bailey's come back in, and he's... Uh, He's not been uh, he's not been great. He's not been great, but we don't have any choices. So it's quite easy to pick the team because there isn't a choice, essentially. We did, however, have youth intake day. And it's pretty good. Bosh. Bosh. Is this guy I'm gonna give contracts to all these guys, I think. Uh, oh, he's already signed. He's already signed. Why can I offer him a contract? Okay. So Nobody, like, although that looks amazing, nobody actually sort of, like, I really think is going to do it. Like, this guy, I never know if goalkeepers are going to be good. He looks all right. 16 years old. Um, we have Jerome Priem, a Dutch guy who looks like a solid 15-year-old centre mid. We've got a left winger who looks promising. 
Again, 15 years old. There's some good players here. This guy, probably maybe the best of the bunch. Yannick Khalifa. I've never heard of that surname before. And then we've got Clevis Geger, a DM with amazing passing. Sort of deep line playmaker-y guy. Could be good. And Yusuf Lehmans, who's another good winger. Like, genuinely solid group of players. We've got uh, Marion Smolders, which is a fantastic name. He's also... Got got himself a contract. So overall, you, you can't complain. Although, like I said, I don't think anybody's like really like, oh my God, we've got to make sure we get him in the team and get him some football. I don't think they're at that level. But if they can provide squad depth, I'm happy with that. Now let's go play some footballs. We have to pretty much try and... I know it's hard, lads, but we've got to pretty much try and win every game with any... If we lose both today... It's it's doomed. Even if we win every game, we might not do it. So, and I'm not sure we're quite consistent enough to go and win every game. I've had a a wonderful days, a full days recording. I'm still recording. Um, have been for like nine hours. I've had a crazy day recording because I'm having so much. I've ha so I've really hope you enjoyed the videos this week because it's it's been bloody brill. I I love the challenge of terrible terrible teams with no money. We are still, despite getting the bank balance back to a sort of neutral stance, we are still absolutely pissing money away. Thankfully, about 10 to 12 of our staff are running out of contract at the end of the season, and they're all on between one and two grand each, and they're not very good. So I can at least half that staff budget. So that should provide another little extra or less expense. What an exciting, riveting first half of football that was. Do more shots. That's how we score, lads. Um, Tweber's playing well. Let's go with... Uh, I kind of need to keep you on the bench in case other people get injured. I think River's been our best player of the season, if I had to give it now. Plenty of goals, plenty of assists. I'd like to... I'd like to sign him permanently, but, you know, money is a slight issue. I don't know how much transfer budget we're going to get next season. Like half a mil, maybe. Unless, of course, we get into Europe. Oh, no, Siggy. Oof. That's an absolute sitter. Maggie plays one forward. Go on, River. I like the idea of the early ball, Aqua, into Siggy. That's nice. Oh, pounce on it. Oh, put some effort in, mate. Barely sprinted towards the ball. Bailey. He's probably worried about pulling his hamstring again. He is a bit of a, like, martial. And I don't mean that in football, even. He's way better than martial. I mean, injury proneness. Okay, Lim, Lim is dead. Everybody's dead and we've got a game in probably like two and a half hours or something. Right. Kelvin could come on. You can come on for the for Siggy. Get the key players off. Demartiu can come on for Maggie. Christians can come on for Alfred. Right, that'll do kind of before because we were only playing three games a month I could just play them and it was fine now I have to think about the next game which I don't, I don't like I'm not a fan of it okay solid don't speak too soon solid midfield solid middling performance a draw is probably fair nobody really deserved to score they had one good chance and we had a few small chances I say you're unlucky. Let's not. Okay. Now with that draw, we have to win this next game. If being the European dream that we're all after here, we have to win. I shouldn't have said. <laughs> I shouldn't have compared Bailey to Martial because he's injured again. Impressive amount for the li for how little he plays. It is incredible how often this guy gets injured. Like it's it's impressive the amount of injuries. Doesn't even suggest he's injury prone. 
Okay, who would like to play? We, we're down three strikers now. So I guess M Cassie. No, I've got three finishing. <laughs> I know finishing isn't the most, ironically, not the most important thing <clears throat> when it comes to strikers. But I think we just have to play Matt there. The tiredness is going to be an issue. But because this is like the most important game... I think we have to just try and ride it out and see if we can make something happen with the team we've got because we don't have depth. If we play our, if we rotate heavily, it's doomed anyway. So you'll be fine, lads. It's not like we've got a game in four. Oh, we have got a game in four days. Okay, don't worry about it. It's fine. I think this uh, Sh Charleroi. They're, they're like quite a distance, the best team in this little group. So I think uh, they probably deserve it. But if we can pull off a miracle, we've done it before. We've already beaten a couple of big teams. They did draw their last game as well, so we didn't drop behind them in our group. But it is seven points. Bruges are four points. There. Anderlecht have gone up to second. Because we destroyed... Uh, the morale of Standard Liège, don't we? Stutter clears the danger. Second half is we is going to be poor. <laughs> There's going to be some tired legs. Second half, keepers come out, but Emilio Jose Barrero. It's a very good finish. I think he was right to come out. All right. I thought this might be one game a bit too far. You never know, lads. Come on, River. I think. Good tackle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's on. He's on. It's fine. Don't pity us with a VR decision. Okay. I know he's on. Fire him up, boys. <laughs> And this is like a max fitness that we're going to have. See, they'll obviously have the same fitness issues, but they've probably got a whole team, haven't they? I think he's on. Oh, God, this is... Let's not get him. Calm down, boys. Three. I think... It's weird because I had probably arguably one of my worst transfer windows. Not, not, I did what needed to be done with what we had, right? But looking at the players, that they're, they're like the most bang average players. Go on with, oh, that's poor. The most bang average players. So that was literally, it's very rare that I get to do a transfer window where all I'm thinking about is just getting to the next transfer, getting to the summer. So some of the players that came in will be going. They were only ever meant to be just, you know, fixes for now. Oof. They are absolutely drubbing us. But this this next transfer window is going to be huge. You've got a bunch of players running out of contract. We're going to have to hoover up some freebies. I'm going to have to be really careful about homegrown. I think we'll keep quite a small team anyway, so the homegrown should come from like essentially the backup squad players mostly. Right. Whose legs have fallen off? Okay, you can come on. Actually, no, I'd rather just play Charlie Air there. Do 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 Kelvin. Okay. We'll go attacking. See if we can get the next goal. We're going to just press a little bit more. I'm not overly hopeful. Okay. Ignore that. Go on, Alfred. Do something useful. Go on, then. Good ball out. Kelvin. Lovely volley to cross. Oh, that's a penalty. What? Oh, my God. How is that not a penalty? They're going to score now, aren't they? Just don't give away a penalty. That would even be more annoying. Oh, my word. How is that not a penalty? How is... 
That is shocking. Uh, I feel like I'm going through the motions of trying to go more attacking to try and get back into this game without any way believing that that's the case. I'll just a little note, I have changed this to an attacking midfielder support rather than the shadow striker, uh, just to give a bit more help to midfield and a little bit less of a gap between the midfielders and the strikers because both my mid my sitting midfielders don't really aren't really pushing forward too much so i just wanted to offer a little bit more support he's the sports bra of our team winners winners well done stutter go on lim go on lim there we go cassie oh what ball that is go on river oh what a finish let that be on side it is. Look at the. He takes like a. He takes a touch here, doesn't he? And then it immediately hits it. Look. Dink, dink. Oh. <laughs> what a finish. Go on. It's hopeful, lads, but I can't believe we, we've given. After the first half, we're still in this game. Go on, Lim. Oh, I should have played it earlier. Good effort, though. Is he an albino? Is Charlie an albino? Come oh, on, boys. Lim wins the header. Well, we gave him a game. I thought this was going to be 5 6 nil. Oh, Lim makes the tackle. Gets it back. Finds the pass. Cassie tries to thread it through to Rivers. Short. The, the Albino's got it. Alfred. Okay. There we go. Lim. Oh, my God. Who's that to? Jesus. 15 minutes left. A draw isn't, doesn't really, we have to beat them to close the gap. So, other than good for morale, a draw doesn't help us whatsoever. And looking, that's a, that's a nice move. It's a nice move. Pull the bus. <laughs> I know it's like the bus or something, but his it's, it's name's the bus. Should be a defender. Uh, unlucky. They killed us off with that one. We had a little fun 20 minutes where we looked all right. It is done. It's 10 points. Mathematically not done. Theoretically, and in every other curly way, it is done. It's fine. I didn't want Europe anyway. It's too many games, isn't it? It's too many games. I like having three games a month for the whole league scene. That's lovely. Right. I'll probably skip on to the end of the season now. Oh, he gets a pay rise, does he, for that shite. That's fine. That's fine. Let's have a look at uh, finances. Oh, look, we're back at one million. <laughs> one million in it. Look, just for a second. It was 87. I saw 87. <sighs> Where is this money going? <laughs> Player wages, 168. Match day expenses, 163. Staff wages, the same as player wages at this point. Loan repayments and debt, they're all equal. Tax. Non-footballing costs, which is a really helpful thing. Bonuses. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to destroy a lot of this. Staff wages. We're not going to be able to get rid of any loan. I don't know if there's any... You know how some leagues have a big chunk of money at the end of the season or beginning of the season? Like, is all your TV money? Well, is there any of that? Is there prize money? No, let's not look. Let's just be pleasantly surprised or not at the end of the season. Right, there we go, my friends. Hope you enjoyed the videos this week. It's been one of the most fun weeks I've had in ages, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Leave it a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.